Welcome to your working from home or schooling from home exercise break number three. I'm Caroline Jordan, certified health and fitness coach and corporate wellness consultant. I've worked with the world's leading companies, helping them improve their posture, performance, and energy all through the power of movement. And I'm here because I want to help you too. This working from home exercise break will allow you to refresh, restore, and renew your energy so that you can be present for everything on your very full plate. It's part of my working from home exercise break challenge, five minutes a day for improved energy and well-being. If you haven't already started the working from home exercise break challenge, all of the information is included in the description box below this video. So definitely check it out and join us for five minutes a day of fitness for improved working from home life. But if you're ready to get started, you subscribe to the channel and hit like on this video. Let's begin with this quick, refreshing working from home exercise break. Sit up nice and tall. Roll your shoulders down and back and take a deep breath. Inhale and exhale. Gently take hold of the side of your chair and tilt your head away from the arm, finding a deep stretch through the neck and the shoulder. Breathe in and out. Return to center and switch sides, holding onto the chair and tilting the head away from the arm. Find that relief through those tight upper shoulder and neck muscles. Breathe and let it out. Return the head to center. Reach the arms up with the palms facing forward. From here, bend the elbows and lift the heart. Do it again, reach and stretch, bend and open. Continue to move with this nice chest and shoulder opening stretch and think about all the positive benefits you're getting from this movement. It counterbalances all of that hunching over the laptop. Let's do one more reaching up and bending down. Take your hands behind your head and open your elbows and chest. From here, round the back, bringing the chin towards the chest and elbows in. Again, inhale, open in the elbows and bend and round, find the stretch. Last one, bend and open and round and stretch. Come back up to center, release the arms and take a twist, looking over the back shoulder as you stretch through the low back. Breathe in and breathe out. Return through center and switch sides, lifting up through the top of the head and finding that deep relief through the lower back. The spine is your lifeline and doing these five minute exercise breaks will help you have a longer one. Breathe in and out. Return to center and open the legs wide. From here, bring one forearm on the thigh and reach the opposite, opposite arm up and over, finding a side stretch. Inhale and exhale. Come through center and switch sides. Forearm on the thigh, opposite arm reaches up and over. Get as long as you can. Extend through the fingertips. Inhale and exhale. Come back up through center. Reach the arms up towards the ceiling and from here fold forward hinging at the hips, bringing the hands towards the floor and the head towards the ground. Find a deep relief through the back and the hips and breathe in and out. Slowly return to a nice strong seated position Roll your shoulders down and back. Let's take a seated hip flexor stretch. Coming into a lunge like position, extending through the back leg and finding a stretch through the front of the hip. Squeeze the back 
butt cheek to find a deeper release, and then take the same arm as leg behind you up and over. Find the stretch. The hip flexors get so tight from all of our sitting, and that can cause a lot of low back tightness and tension. So doing this stretch is going to help you and your back feel better fast. Breathe in and out. Return through center and switch sides. Finding a lunge like position, extending through the back leg, lifting up through the chest, and taking the same arm as leg behind you up and over to find your hip flexor stretch. Breathe, inhale, and exhale. Good, return to center. Bring the feet about hip distance apart and take one ankle on the opposite knee, finding a figure four with the legs. Lift up through the torso and then hinge forward at the hips to find a stretch in your glutes. Keep your spine long and your breath fluid. Let go of any tension. Breathe. Return to center. Uncross the legs and let's switch sides. Other ankle on top of the knee. Flex the foot. Keep the spine long as you hinge forward at the hips. Find the stretch and breathe. In and out. Lift back up to center, uncross the legs, and reach your hands forward. Grab hold of one hand and pull the fingertips back slightly, finding a stretch through the wrist and the hand, all those typing muscles. Switch sides, fingers down, let's flip it down, and stretch through the forearm. Breathe. Woo, we feel that. Switch hands, fingers up, gently guide them back towards your face, find your stretch. And then switch, fingers down, gently pull backwards. Breathe. Relax, let the arms fall by your sides and take one last deep settling breath in and out. Notice how you feel. Remember, you can make a difference within minutes of simple exercises to improve your working from home life. I hope that you enjoyed this quick working from home exercise break. And if you liked it, be sure to join our working from home exercise break challenge, five minutes a day of movement to help you and your body manage the unique challenges that come from working at home. So click the link in the description box below to join us for five minutes of fitness for improved energy and health. I hope you liked this video. Thank you so much for joining me, and I'll see you again soon at carolinejordanfitness.com.